Hello and welcome to the Rotherham match preview. So yes, our open coming game on Saturday at the Stadium Light against fellow strugglers, if you like, Rotherham. Um, so a preview of, let's have a look at them and, and how I think the match is going to turn out. So, you know, Rotherham, they are managed by Matty Taylor, once of Exeter, um, took over there after Paul Warren, done a crack and job, actually kept them up last season when they were expected to go down. Um, you know, and they're always they're, they're a team where people always expect them to struggle, but they're always in games. You know, they're a tough team to beat, and they're, they're a strong physical side as well. They've added to that as well, and with some signings during the summer. Uh, they've signed Fred Onya Dimna, who you might have seen um, playing for Luton last season. Now, you might have seen uh, last week any crazy, crazy yellow card against uh, was it Blackburn, where he's fouled in the first half. He then in the second half he's fouled again. Sorry, he commits a foul in the first half. He uh, gets a yellow card in the second half. He gets fouled. He waves it. Imagine a yellow card. The referee instead of booking the the Blackburn player, books on your dimner, and he gets a second yellow card and he's off. So he's suspended um, for this weekend, which is you know he's a decent player. So he'll be a big miss for them. They've also signed Andrea Green, the centre forward. They've got Tom Eaves and all, so they've got some decent players. Um, so you know they're not going to be no pushovers, even though the they're only one place above us. So that yeah, so that on that so yes, the league table. So you can see the the one place above us, they have got one point to our none. Um, they they lost the first game of the season and they got battered at Stoke in the four one or four nil. Then they won in the Carabao Cup in midweek when they beat Markham on penalties. Then they drew two each against Blackburn. So the one point better off than us. You know, match-wise, they always give us a decent game. You know, they beat us last season. Um, at the back end of last season, 2-1 away when we put in an awful performance. But they have put in a decent performance. I remember Shane Ferguson in particular causing us loads of problems. Um, but in Tony Mowbray's first home game at the stadium night, we beat them 3-0. I think Ross Stewart scored two that night. And I think my Jack Clark might have got another one. So at home, we normally do alright against them. But away from home... You know, it's a bit of a different story. But we are at home and it's vitally important that we try and get these these wins on the board. Um the first win even on the board, it's gonna be a tough, tough game. Like you see uh, people expecting to, to turn up at the stadium on Saturday and expect us to roll over them. It's not gonna happen, I don't think. Um like I say, they're, they're they're a dogged side, they're in your face, the man mark, and it's gonna be really, really difficult to break them down, especially with our you know, strike a situation which I'm bored of talking about. Team selection wise for Saturday, I don't think we're going to see any changes. I think it's going to be um, Patterson in goal, Trey Hume, Dan Ballard, Luke O'Neill, Dennis Serkin, Patrick Roberts, Dan Neil, Pierre Equa, Jack Clark, Joby just playing off with Bradley Duck up front again or that in that false nine position. I don't think T Tony Moore has come out and said time and time again, Emmy is not ready. You know, it's not fair on the young lad putting all that pressure on him. And I've already seen him getting slated in social media, which is not his fault. You know, he's only eighteen year old. We need to give him some time, and he's, he's not what we need. We need the experienced centre forward to hit the ground run, and we haven't got that yet. But like I say, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. So score predictions, I'm going to go for a two-one win, just to nick it. But it's going to be a nervy, nervy game. But something to win two-one. Um. But let me know what your thoughts are in the in the comments below. I know we've missed the first two games of the season, but if you put your comment, your score predictions in the comments below, we'll run a competition till the end of the season, and there'll be a shirt giveaway at the end to the one with the most points. So, you know, we'll do it. We'll do it like you get three points for getting the exact score, two points for the the result, the result correct. Obviously, no points for for not getting. It. So three points get the score nailed on. Two points if you just get the actual, if you get the result, like a Sunderland win or a Rotherham win or a draw, what have you. And we'll do it all the way through the season. We'll have a bit of a competition. Keeps me interested as, as we go on. But you must put your score predictions in this review video. Um, Tony Mowbray's press comments today. You know, basically what did we learn? Well, we learned we're no near a signing a striker. And we're, we're now looking at loan deals. And, and time is running out fast and Tony Mowbray's you know he, his demeanour has kind of changed in the last few weeks uh, me personally I think he's covering for Speakman you know he's coming out and saying things like that where 
you know, we were close to a striker last weekend. Now that's changed. We're, we're no near a striker. All he said was discussions are taking place, you know, which doesn't fill me with confidence at all. And then he was talking about looking on the last day of the of the window when the Premier League players of Premier League teams have got their players in. We can then get you know Premier League loan players, great players, but. If we spend our money now, we won't be able to get them players. And for me, that's a worrying, worrying statement. For me, he's just, you know, papering over the cracks and covering for KLD and Speakman. Just come out and say, we haven't got the money to spend or we're not going to buy a striker. You know, the, the, the rumours over the past few days about the, the Russian from Ukraine, apparently it was almost done, signed and sealed. That's gone very quiet. Van Hoydonk, another one who was on loan, who was in um, Atlanta, I think, at the moment, or he's that's gone very quiet in fact this week has been absolutely deafening on the transfer front um and with you know a little over a week and a half or two weeks to go before the end of the window i'm a worried man and i even spoke about ross stewart being fitting five six seven weeks and be back scoring goals well i'm sorry but in seven weeks time where we're going to be you know if we don't beat rotherham on saturday we've then got um coventry away in southampton at home I can't see us getting very many points there, so you know potentially we'll get beat on Saturday. That could be potentially five games without a point, and that kind of have us rock rock the bottom of the league. So you know something needs to be done sharpish. We we'll keep on saying it all the time, all the time, and it's getting boring about wanting a striker. But simple fact is, we're not scoring goals. Thanks for watching. Um, we've just hit the five hundred subscriber mark. I'm absolutely buzzing. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen one of these videos before, please give it a like and a subscribe. I've also noticed on my analytics that I think there's 78% of, of people who view the videos are not subscribed. If you can just drop a, drop a subscribe when you've watched them, if you like the content, it'll be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to get to 1,000 now, that's that's the new milestone. We've got to 500, let's see if we can get to 1,000. Um, but I'd greatly appreciate everybody who likes, comments and shares the, the videos and the channel. But till the next time, like I always say, thanks for watching, take it easy, stay safe, and we'll speak soon. ta -ra.